द स्टोरी ऑफ लिटिल रेड राइडिंग वुड वंस अपॉन ए टाइम देर वॉज ए लिटिल गर्ल हु लिव्ड इन ए विलेज नियर ए फॉरेस्ट वेन एवर सी वेंट आउट सी वॉर ए रेड राइडिंग क्लॉक विथ ए वुड एवरी वन इन द विलेज कोल्ड हर लिटिल रेड राइडिंग वुड One morning little red riding hood asked her mother if she could go to visit her grandmother That's a good idea said her mother So she packed a nice basket for little red riding hood to take to her grandmother When the basket was ready little red riding hood put on her red cloak and kissed her mother goodbye remember go straight to granny's house her mother said don't dawdle along the way and don't talk to strangers as little red riding hood walked along a path by the woods she saw some lovely flowers and forgot what her mother had told her she didn't notice a dark shadow approaching it was a wolf suddenly the wolf appeared beside little red riding hood what are you doing out here little girl the wolf asked i am on my way to see my granny who lives near the brook little red riding hood replied Then she realized how late she was and quickly excused herself. She rushed down the path to her grandmother's house. The wolf in the meantime took a shortcut through the woods to Granny's house. A little out of breath from running, he arrived at Granny's house and knocked lightly at the door. Oh thank goodness dear come in come in i was worried sick that something had happened to you in the forest said granny thinking that her granddaughter had arrived the wolf let himself in before granny could say another word the wolf locked her up in a cupboard The wolf then surged through Granny's wardrobe and found a nightgown that he could wear. He also took out and wore a frilly night cap. Cap. A few minutes later, Little Red Riding Hood knocked on the door. The wolf jumped into bed and pulled the covers over his noise. Who is it? He called out. It's me, Little Red Riding Hood. Oh, how lovely! Do come in, my dear. Croaked the wolf. When Little Red Riding Hood entered the little cottage, she could scarcely recognize her grandmother. Granny, your voice sounds so odd. Is something the matter? she asked oh i just have a touch of a cold today said the wolf but granny what big ears you have said little red riding hood as she edged closer to the bed the better to hear you with my dear replied the wolf but granny what big teeth you have said little red riding hood her voice shaking slightly the better to eat you with my dear roared the wolf and he leapt out of the bed almost too late little red riding hood realized that it was not her grandmother in the bed but a hungry wolf she ran across the room and through the door shouting help wolf as loudly as she could A villager who 
was speaking twinks nearby heard her cry and ran towards the cottage as fast as he could he grabbed the wolf and carried him deep into the forest where he could not bother people any longer little red riding hood let poor gran out of the cupboard oh granny i was so scared sobbed little red riding hood i'll never speak to stranger or dodling in the forest again there there child you've learned an important lesson thank goodness you shouted loud enough and the kind villager had heard you